Assembly variants in Proteus are used to create a number of similar PCBs from the same base schematic design. Handling of variants takes place inside of the Design Explorer. The Variant menu lets you add, remove and rename assembly variants. Each variant then appears as a column in Design Explorer with the active variant displayed in the combo box in the main toolbar. You can add and remove components from a variant by clicking on their entry in the appropriate column. You can also find the part on the schematic, edit it and click on the checkbox at the bottom of the dialog. Finally, you can drag a selection box around the circuitry of interest and then switch to the Design Explorer to modify their fitted status in a variant. The list of all parts excluded from a particular variant can be generated with a simple search in Design Explorer. The active variant is shown in the combo box at the top of Proteus and applies to all modules in the software. Parts excluded from the current variants will have their references greyed out on the schematic and will not be rendered in the 3D viewer. They will also be removed from the BOM report, the pick and place files and the assembly drawings for the PCB. The active variant is always added to the head of the bill of materials report but you can also add to the header block on the schematic for printing or reference purposes. You can have different parts in different variants, provided the package is the same. First switch to the variants and then change the value properties inside the Design Explorer. When using an alternative part, you might also want to change properties such as stock code and cost. Add the properties to the grid via the command on the view menu, check that you have the correct variant selected and then change the property values accordingly. Design Explorer uses highlighting on the grid to show if a variant is being edited, to show properties that have been changed in the active variant, and to show components that have been changed in some way. Make sure you check you are editing the correct variant before making property changes. Part changes will reflect only in the layout silkscreen by default. If you are producing a single board and don't want silkscreen difference, you will need to hide the part value via the Edit Component dialog form. A report of the design's assembly variants can be produced in the Project's Notes module. This will detail the differences, such as component value, in the variants you have in your project.